The Euphrates River. Its eastern bank is controlled by the Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF. Here, the town of Jarablus. It was freed from Daesh under Turkey's military operation Euphrates Shield and is now under the control of the Free Syrian Army. It was to these opposition fighters that former SDF commander and spokesperson Tal al Silo surrendered in November. He describes the creation of the SDF, a Syrian opposition force backed by the US. The SDF is just a name and nothing else. We were getting everything from the YPG, including our salaries. The main reason why the SDF exists is the US. They mentioned issues like uniting the groups, but on the ground was another reality. They went on about the struggle against terror, but we saw that Daesh terrorists were being smuggled according to agreements with the US and the PKK. They tried to portray the SDF as liberators and fighters against terror, but they were the reason homes were demolished, people were displaced. People were not in peace, even in the camps. This echoes directly the position of Turkey's government. Ankara has long warned it considers elements of the SDF, like the YPG, an offshoot of the PKK terror group. The SDF is made up of mainly YPG units, but also tens of thousands of Arab fighters. Washington has considered them the most effective fighting force against Daesh in Syria, and their gains against the terror group have been swift and successful, notably in retaking Raqqa recently. But the US arming of the SDF has long been a source of contention between Ankara and Washington. Turkey warns that arming the group risks destabilizing not just Syria, but the whole region. Donald Trump and the American army have promised Turkey that all weapons given to the SDF will be returned. But Silo alleges the US asked few questions when it came to delivering weapons. Americans didn't care where their guns were going. They didn't even ask once. They even believed it when the YPG said we've used up the guns and a new weapons delivery was started immediately. The U.S. already knows that Arabs, Turkmen and Syrian Orthodox Christians are not involved in this equation. During the Obama era, used weapons were sent to us, and some of them were unusable. When Trump came, the armoured vehicles began to be delivered. Now that Daesh has been pushed out, different factions hold its former territory. In Jarablus, the Free Syrian Army flag now flies. Here in Jarablus, the signs of Daesh are still evident, like this building painted in Daesh's black and white colours. But with the fight against Daesh now all but over and it having lost most of its territory in Syria, there are concerns about what comes next. Silo gave his interview as Turkey and the US once again lock horns over the issue of arming the SDF. The US hasn't responded to Silo's allegations as yet, but they recently said they would be reassessing their arms supply. These words, though, from someone inside the SDF will do nothing to ease Turkey's concerns about US assurances that its weapons have ended up in the right hands. Sarah Firth, TRT World, Syria.